I think if guys really want to know the answer to why or to how to get a girl or whatever, ask a girl. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the so. concept of if you want to learn how to catch a gazelle, don't ask a gazelle, ask a lion. Do you think what do you think about that phrase? So this is my one of my favorite YouTubers, Steph is Cole. Super funny, I think he says a lot of real stuff. You know, some of his stuff, everyone might not agree with it. He's not the end all be all word that I want you to follow, but I would be curious to see what you guys think of this, so. Okay. So this is what we gonna talk about today. You have to destroy her ego. You know, in this society that we live in today, one thing you gotta understand is a woman is always gonna have way more options than you. She's gonna have a thousand a billion more options to you because a five or four on the sexual market value scale is entitled in her brain that she deserves an eight, nine, or a ten. I just think that honestly, it's guys who are insecure or whose ego's been messed with a little bit by a girl who say this type of stuff, just saying. So what did you yeah. disagree with that he said? I think the fact that saying that girls deserve this and that, what girl wants to say, yeah, I'm gonna go for a guy who's a four. When someone's genuinely a good guy, I know that sounds really cheesy, but that brings them up a lot higher. I don't think anyone should destroy anyone's ego. I think obviously he's been hurt by some girl yeah. and is getting better. Yeah. Do you think it's fair to say that women get their ego stroked a lot? I don't, mm. it, just, it depends. I think men's ego gets stroked a lot as well. You think men, Get the ego stroked as much as women? Depends on what you're talking about. Appearance, Instagram. Okay, appearance, yeah. but girls are, that, that's that's how it is though. Bruh. It depends on what field you're talking about. It's a deep down person inside of her soul and brain. Because when she posts a picture and her cleavage is showing, even if she's out of shape and she's fat, she's still going to get over 300 likes. Quick question. Because a girl is a certain weight, does that mean that she shouldn't be getting that amount of likes? Is there a definition of beauty? Well, that's true. I think uh, a lot of people do like women who are not overweight, but there's plenty of people who do like overweight people. He's saying even if they are overweight, doesn't matter. They're still getting a lot and of juice. What's funny is that it's usually the men that are liking this and it's a man that is making this video. So how is his point valid? He's I saying he doesn't, he doesn't believe in um, validating the women the same way a lot of other men do. <laughs> she get a little ego boost, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's her deep down inside of her brain to make it seem like she's entitled to that type of guy because she doesn't get just one of those guys. She gets 10 of those guys a day in her DMs or in her likes. And if a guy's liking a picture, nine times out of 10, he want to hit that. Liking a woman's picture is validation, is ego esteem boost. Telling a woman, oh my gosh, you're so sexy. That is validation. That is ego boost. That is her, you letting her know that use me for my non-sexual attention, please. You have to never validate her or validate her little to none. I feel like he's kind of like assuming. Yeah. Way. Or like he just got hurt in some type of way. Yeah. From like one girl and he's like targeting her, like every girl. And this is opposed to guys who are trying to get girls. This isn't a video for girls, obviously. It's for guys who are trying to get, I guess, more girls or just have a better relationship or trying to uh, get women, as I think is the whole point of these. Do you think that's not the right way to go about it, is destroying her ego? No. no. What, so what is the right way? Well, tell me another way that you would show interest in someone that while you're destroying their ego, while you're bringing them down, how can you make them feel good? Um, I think the whole name of the game is, what he's saying is these girls constantly get their ego boosted with Instagram and all these attractive guys DMing them and liking their pictures and it makes, them feel, it makes these girls feel, I'm beautiful, I'm pretty, yeah, this is the type of guy I need, I need some big ballers. So then when I come and say, y'all ain't, y'all ain't, you're not special, it makes the girl go, yes I am. And it makes them, the girl, want to prove themselves to the guy or the girl goes, he's not treating me like every other guy treats me. I don't, oh, I need to win him over. I like this guy now. Yeah, no, me personally, if a guy's gonna bring me down, I don't feel more fire to impress him. And that goes both ways. I don't think girls should do that either. So you think even if you're not like that, do you think other girls are? 
I think that doesn't matter. I think yeah. obviously in this day and age, social media and your public image is a much more of a thing, whether you like it or not. Um, but people have the choice to put themselves out there and do what they want to do. I don't think the way to go about it is to bring someone down just because other men- Not bringing down, just- Just because other men like the look of this girl. I think it just shows that this is a beautiful woman and you might need to find more ways other than just speaking certain words to compliment her to win her over Damn! and not bring her down just not complimenting her not feeding into the compliment train so i guess think i you can still show interest as a guy and say good things about a girl without i guess being overly overly complimentative you think that's fair or what is the best way to for a guy who's struggling with trying to find girls or trying to get with a girl or whatever what's the best way to win over a girl do you think that there's a advice that guys should take like this is how you get a female's attention this is how you want to get a female to chase you kind of a long-winded question i can repeat it if you need me to <laughs> i think guys tend to lust after girls a lot for how they mm -hmm. look and i think that's just honestly part of the science of humans that's fair i mean yeah. if you look in animals like certain animals will look a certain way put themselves out a certain way to look healthy to look like this certain thing to attract people so i think that's what everyone naturally wants is to look healthy to look clean whatever to attract certain people mm -hmm. i'm not saying that everyone has to but i don't think that's an abnormal thing or something that shouldn't be happening and also i feel like a lot of girls feel confident on instagram but like they could be the most insecure girl how how do guys in today's society get a girl to chase them that's a very broad yeah. question yeah. i mean girls are different well, i guess set themselves for, up to be for me i think it's just being kind and oh. being a gentleman because mm -hmm. that's not very common nowadays yeah that's what stands out to me but yeah girls different i think that's cool so this one is called why nice guys don't win and i think this is brushes on what you were talking about do you guys think nice guys win no nope. or the same in the, oh nice guys finish last do you think so um depends on the girl and yeah where they're at in life yeah for sure. would a nice guy win with you guys yes never ever do these things while you're in the dating stage with a female i'll give you three things you should never you do must right. be very educated because a lot of guys don't get it a lot of guys that don't understand. it's steph is cold he? He's the man. Aww. Stuff is cold. He's he might the coldest. He's single for a while. Yeah, I don't think, I don't he, think, he, I don't he's, think he's doing it right. I don't think so. So, the first thing, the very first thing, right? Never, ever tell her who she can and can't talk to when you guys are dating. Rule number one, she's not yours. That's not your girl. That's not your wife. Y'all not exclusive. Okay, rule number two, she's not going to stop talking to other guys when you guys are dating because that's what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to talk to other guys. She's supposed to entertain other guys. Not in front of your face. Not being disrespectful in front of you. But overall, fellas, she is going to talk to other guys. So this is in the uh, talking, talking, talking like, okay. oh. But no. aren't, aren't guys also entertaining other girls too? Well, we're talking, this is specifically talking about girls entertaining. So is that true? That girls entertain a, a whole plethora of guys during a talking stage if they're talking to one I guy? mean, you can't, girls are all different. You can't, yeah. you can't really do that. I think, are they able to? If you guys are not held down and yeah. you're just hanging out? Do y'all tend to talk to multiple people at once until you kind of have one that you like solidify or? No, it's too much work for me. Yeah. <laughs> you're never the only guy that she's talking to in the dating stage. But what do women do? Women would play mind games with you to make it seem like you're the only one. And when you feel like you're the only one, your ego is being stroked. That's all it is. It's the ego stroking tactic that you cannot let her get to you mentally. Game is all mental. It's not physicality. If here is not right, you will not succeed, bruh. I think he's making dating like this huge game. Like it's actually really yeah. complicated. He's doing way too many rules. Like, can we just like say what's up straightforward and go from there in each particular instance? This is MJ Get Right. How to get her to think about you nonstop. Quick disclaimer, if you haven't killed your beta and if you got a problem with manipulating women, this ain't for you. She wants to get to know more about you. She's like, well, I want to know. I want to figure out more things about him. She's asking these questions. You're putting them off your you know, you're, you're short answering them, that type of sh And on top of that, she's seeing you with other women. That shit causes her to go on an emotional roller coaster. Do not feel bad about that because secretly all women crave that sh Is that true? A guy <laughs> being mysterious, giving shorter text messages, not really giving you a whole lot to work with. 
No, I don't entertain that. If you mm -hmm. seem like you're bored with me, then I'm going to get bored with you. Bruh. I need to feel like someone's invested. What about like the pullback method he was talking about earlier where, all right, you get the girl attached to you and then ghost her. Stuff. I feel like that creates <laughs> trauma. <laughs> yeah. For all these girls, like, yeah. All these issues with guys, that's why girls don't want yeah. to do stuff with guys. Nope. Guys just always want to play it's games. Like leading on. So you think only guys want to play the games? I didn't say that. Okay. I think yep. girls play games too. Not all of them. Some mm -hmm. do. She don't see a goofy side of you. She sees a nice masculine frame from you. Not evil, not mad, not angry. A nice, cool, calm, collected frame. And she sees sexual desire. That's what she has to see around you every single time. So that's why you flake. That's why you do all this stuff. That gives them, okay, <laughs> what is he doing instead of he must have other must be with other girls. The guy you like now, he's hanging with other girls, he's not texting back, and you're thinking, oh, what's he doing? What is that how gonna make you desire them? No. 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 It just shows yeah. lack of interest. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, I'm okay. Over okay. It. <laughs> so any guys that you've dated in the past or anything, they're been, they've been more like, I guess you could say gentlemanly and didn't uh, do any pullback methods or any sort of mysterious. I'd say so. You same with you or not? Nah? Um. Like the guy, oh, you don't know what he's doing. Oh, where is he? He's not hitting me back. Why yeah. is he? That's just was, immaturity. Yeah. I feel like men don't do that, and I don't look for boys. It just hit me. I tried to look for maturity and like a mm -hmm. man. That sums it up. Wait, that was it. Yeah. You're two favorite guys, MJ, get right, and. Yeah, they're annoying. Bruh. I like put me in a bad mood. <laughs> Who'd you like better, Stuff is Cold or MJ? <laughs> for like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the end all be all, best way to get a girl to like you. You know what my whole thing is? How can guys answer that question? I think if guys really want to know the answer to why or to how to get a girl or whatever, ask a girl. Yeah. Because a girl's going to tell you straight up how to yeah. get it. Like, they're going to tell you what they're looking for. It's all these hurt, like, bothered guys that have been yeah. broken Ooh. by girls yeah. that are making these videos. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the so. concept of if you want to learn how to catch a gazelle, don't ask a gazelle, ask a lion. Do you think, what do you think about that phrase? I think that has nothing to do with dating. I think that has to do with hunting and killing someone. So like, if I if there's a guy who gets a lot of girls and then there's a beautiful girl, you think the girl would give better advice for how to get girls than the guy would? I think maybe you should just read your woman's brain book and maybe, maybe you'll figure it out. Well, no, that was a question. I mean, the other, what do you think about that? <laughs> I can't answer these questions any longer. Like you seem to think one way and that's and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But good luck finding a girl who will agree with that. Hey yo, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's very common. These videos are very popular amongst women. Yeah. How do you think they do with women with all these tactics? Why do they put so much effort into doing that? I know, so you don't he think was like you... hurt. Yeah. He was like, listen. Yeah. Let me repeat. 